Good morning from New York City. It's time for another New York vlog. I thought I would do a weekend in New York vlog because my New York vlog one, which will be live by the time this is live, was so long. I was like, I don't think you guys are gonna want to watch an hour long video. So I've decided to break it up. There's also a come shopping with me in New York coming along. And there's also a solo day in New York video coming along. So lots of New York content, but I am staying with my beautiful friend, Emily, who I'll introduce you to soon if you didn't see her on vlog number one. And we are just gonna go and start the day with getting a bagel. I did do a soul cycle this morning. Then I went to one of my favorite brunch spots, Two Hands, to pick up a matcha. So, so, so great. And now we're gonna go to a bagel spot. I'm doing like an impromptu bagel tour. So far, my number one is Leon's Bagels, then Black Seed. So we're gonna go see how Russ and Daughters is. Let's go, weekend in New York, baby. Oh, I just walked past my favorite brunch spot. I can't go because I'm trying not to go to the same place twice, but I just love this spot. It's one of my mom's favorites as well. So if you watch my other New York vlog, you will have watched my impromptu bagel rankings of New York City. There's a spot called Leon's Bagels. It was chef's kiss, like the best thing ever. Then Black Seed was amazing. Marie's was good, but like it had too much filling. What a thing to complain about. Should not complain about having too much filling, but it was just a bit too chickeny. And I said to Emily, I was like, I really hope there's no line for Russ and Daughters. And she actually like laughed. She was like, no, there's definitely gonna be a line for Russ and Daughters. So we're gonna manifest no line because we're really hungry, but we're just heading through Soho now, which is literally my favorite part of New York, going through all the shops and going to go and find the no line bagel shop. The macaroons for me, yummy, yummy, yummy. Babka, I love the brand. Mm. Very long line, but we did get some macaroons to eat whilst we're waiting. Take yours. Feel free, enjoy. This is a great life. This is Emily, by the way, new vlog. Hey. Okay, so this is Russ and daughters. It's good. Mm -hmm. I love. Do you say macaroon or macaron? I say macaroon. 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 So don't panic if you see a line because you go in, you pick a number, and then you stand outside and wait until they call your number on here. Very fishy in here. I have a lot of fish. The good. Literally an hour later, honestly. Oh. Oh, it doesn't have the bagel crunch because they put in like fish paper. It's like fish. Yeah, like it's not got the paper crunch. Mmm, oh, it still looks really good. Look at that. Okay, that was my first time going to Russ and Daughters. It was insane. So tell the vlog what you were telling me. <laughs> I think it's good because it's not as thick as uh, your regular New York bagel. So you get it toasted, it's a bit crunchy. It's not like eating a loaf of bread. Oh, it was. <laughs> Guys, mine has already been demolished. Emily's taking it slower than I did. I literally wolfed it down in one breath. We were actually really hungry and we ended up lining up for honestly an hour. Mm -hmm which normally I wouldn't do, but they had a great system. You go in there, you take a number. We then bought macaroons to eat while we waited outside and then the numbers flash up, but I don't know. We could have probably just gone for like a 15 minute walk around the block, but we didn't want to miss our number. But in hindsight, we could have gone for a walk. So they're actually famous for fish, people tell me, and their bagels are kind of expensive, but I didn't get fish. So he was like so shocked when I said I didn't want salmon inside. Mm -hmm. He was like, are you sure? So we actually went for cream cheese, scallion cream cheese, a scallion onion. This type of onion. Mm, well, it was really good. And then we added for some freshness, a tomato or tomato and onions or scallions. I don't know. Anyway, it was <laughs> sensational. We got it toasted. Always get your bagel toasted. So top life hack, if you are gonna go there, just get a macaroon inside first from the different desk eat it, enjoy, take a walk around the block. Yeah, so it's a Saturday, so everyone is kind of out and about. Oh, Dudley's, this was on my list. Oh, yeah, is it good? I've never been. Well, it was on my list. Everyone's out and about because it's a weekend and everyone's brunching. We are now gonna head over to Brooklyn Bridge, although it's so cold. We should not be heading over in this coldness. Last time I came to New York in January, it was like minus 10. I've stay so far this week, so we've done very well. I'm very grateful. I got a full tummy, but don't worry, we've got lots more food to go today. So we are just walking along Brooklyn Bridge. Last time I came here in January, it was so cold. I have pictures of myself and I'm like all puffed up. And now like, 
we were like, it's gonna be freezing. It's really not that bad. So we're just out here living our best lives. I love the views. So we're heading over to Brooklyn. Dumbo, gonna enjoy that area. I really wanna get a pizza slice, but Roberta's, which is like a really great pizza spot over there, is kind of far. There's a place called Grimaldi's, which is actually kind of good, but I bet the line's gonna be too long. We've done our lining up for today. Oh no, we were gonna get another bagel as well, weren't yeah. we? We're gonna like do another bagel, maybe. I love this skyline. We're here, Brooklyn, baby. It's a real touristy thing to do. I mean, like years and years ago, it actually wasn't that touristy down here. There were no shops and restaurants really down here. Now this area under the Brooklyn Bridge, Dumbo. No, under the Manhattan Bridge. Get it right. Like I remember seeing a sweet green here. I was like, oh my God, they have a sweet green now. Great salad bar. Anyway, I was just saying to Emily, this is where Dan Humphrey's apartment is. And if you watch Gossip Girl, you'll know how hilarious it is that he was seen as like, not having much money on Gossip Girl, yet he lives in a loft apartment in Brooklyn. Like now that would be worth like 10 million. That is crazy. It's been gentrified, but yeah. Always gotta pop under here and then we're gonna head to the timeout market just to have a little peep. Went to the one in Miami as well, but I just always really like popping into a food hall. Message me on Instagram and said this is great for a bagel if you are in here. I love something like that. Hibiscus, that's like a really glazed one. Just like something not filled normally. Then I need something with like custard in it. Is a Boston cream with custard in it? I don't know. It is custard. Matt would get the peanut butter jelly. Some donuts. So, first things first. We got this. Let's go Giants. Let's go. Is that even the song? I don't know. I don't know. I was like, is okay. this a team we're supposed to be supporting? Guys, comment below. Should we support, be supporting New York Giants? Gorgeous, gorgeous donut. And then we got another one, which I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so this one doesn't have anything in the middle because the guy was like, no, we're good enough. We don't need anything in the middle when it says New York. So we got a Boston cream, which has custard in it. We're going to break this one apart and dunk this one into it. Are you ready? <laughs> Look at the buzzing cream. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got custard in my tummy. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, and now I'll it's done. Yeah. And then we're gonna. Oh, like a churro. That's the shot. Like a churro. So you literally get it, you dunk it, and then. And dash it on my paycheck. Right, now you have to try the dunk. That's great. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> that's really great. Right. If you can't find the donut you want, you make the donut you want. This is our invention. If anyone Trademark. else has already invented this out there. Trademark. Yeah. <laughs> Trademark. Basically all I wanted was custard. I don't care about the donut. Uh, this is genius. Yes! Mm -hmm. That's great, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, let's do it with a cookie. Mm -hmm. They're all blue, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're, go we're gonna have to go to Soho House to wash, as Emily says, with the good soap. If they even let us in, they're not, they're not gonna let us in. So we're blue dabba dee dabba -da. Soho House is hidden behind a gold door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blue. Can I get it off? <laughs> So we were just walking along that bridge and now we are just catching up on some work up here. Great little hack, you can stand up there if you're not a Soho House member and you can have your own little rooftop here or you can go to the Soho House rooftop which is literally next door, just above Time Out Market. Okay, we had to pop to Soho House to clean our faces and I have to say, top hack if you wanna go to a nice rooftop in Brooklyn or Dumbo, head to Time Out Market. We now really, really want a pizza slice. Which places would you recommend in Brooklyn? Um, in Brooklyn, Della Rocco's, Grimaldi's, Luzo's. 
but none of them do slices. Can you believe that? So we're on a slice hype. We're gonna head to French Street Pizza, one I've never tried before actually. Get a little cheeky slice. Let's hope that they do slices because they actually might not. I'm making an assumption. Oh no, they do slices, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Looks like the best slice. Um, cheers. Cheers. Uh -huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, it's good with the tomato. Mm -hmm. Really good. <laughs> okay, I want to get the pizza ranking from someone who knows pizza. Hit us with it. What do you think of front, front street pizza? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You said a bit sweet. Sauce is a bit sweet. I think we can do better in New York. Yeah, we think we can, act so we were basically just saying that most of the pizzas in Brooklyn are pies. By pies, we mean whole pizza. <laughs> a pizza pie, it means like you get the whole pizza, not the slice. Um, but in Manhattan, they're mainly slices. It's gonna like, well, we're gonna go to some more place in Brooklyn first to like walk around and stuff. But then I think we're gonna do, continue the pizza crawl with the slices in Manhattan. But like, it filled a hole. But it absolutely was not the best pizza I've ever had, so we're gonna continue. <laughs> we're gonna need some more. I said to Emily, where do you wanna go next? You want more pizza? And she went, wine. I want wine. This was one of the first pizzas I ever had in New York, and mine was burnt. But the thing is, there's always a huge line here, and people do say it's good. Unfortunately, no slices. Emily says this is apparently a fake Grimaldi. But I'm like, shh. It's just like where you would where you would go if you can't get into Grimaldi's. Well, we can't get into Grimaldi's, so do we wait? Do we go here or do we wait? Oh no, again, they're not open until four either. They even copy the sign. Yeah, and it's wow. Like founded by Wow, oh, it's founded by Patsy Grimaldi, I get it. Just the smell of Cinnabon, it's like my happy place. I've actually tried this ice cream, apparently it's good. Oh, the River Cafe. Is this actually good? It's like very fancy. It has a cute garden if you want to go. Yeah, it's really expensive, isn't it? I think. I mean, there's a river cafe in London. I'm assuming it's a different river cafe. Beautiful. Christmas trees out. Still. It's nearly February. It's wild. Heading on search of wine. I feel like if you went to, um, Juniors, the cheesecake place. You might have they some would wine. do it. Oh, we well, should try that. Uh, you might find a chocolate, like a chocolate mousse cheesecake. Oh, it's wine time! I'm so happy. It's so sweet, and the views are great, and the wine is fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, smells my favorite thing ever. I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we got smalls. I am so excited about this prospect. Very happy accident in between the pizza hunt. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just get smalls instead. Okay, so completely impromptu, we decided to go to one hotel because I had a really great experience there in Miami. We wanted to head up to the rooftop. Gosh, I'm out of breath, I'm going up the hill. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gasping. Um, I had a great experience at one hotel in Miami. So we wanted to get to the rooftop, but it was actually closed till five, but we went to a place called Harriet's Bar inside the one hotels. It was amazing. Big up our server, Ted. Ted, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you're not, we love you. Ted, Ted you were so nice. Ted was like, I was like, do you have chocolate mousse? He was like, no, I was like, oh, and he was like, but I've got s'mores, and I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> and he brought us s'mores and he lit them, didn't he? What a sweetie. We were like, relight my fire. <laughs> when it ran out of fire. And he was there, he ran over, he relit our fire, and the rest is history. <laughs> the most beautiful s'mores with the most beautiful view. And no one judged us for taking all the content. Oh, this way, and now, <laughs> we are actually gonna walk. We're gonna get back on this pizza hype, guys. I promise more pizza slices. I'm very full. But if we walk past more pizza places, you know I'm gonna try. Also, Bluestone Lane, great spot. Just here. No, that's a 45. Bluestone Lane is here. 
I always go to Blue Stone Lime. I went to quite a few in San Francisco, so absolutely not going this trip. If you do need like a cute little solo coffee spot or a good avocado on toast, it's a great little spot. I'm basically just gonna walk over Manhattan Bridge this time because Brooklyn Bridge is beautiful and like no matter how many times I come to New York, I love to walk along it. Sorry, you can hear the train, but it's so busy. So it's more efficient to walk back over Manhattan Bridge. So that is what we are going to do right now. Guys, I have to say, and my boyfriend and I found this the last time we came, train coming, wait, hold that door. That's the only thing about this bridge, it can be very loud. We were just saying it must be super loud for the apartments that like, look onto this bridge, but if you just want like a much calmer and also more direct route to Manhattan, because it brings you out of Manhattan, right? Yeah, then I would definitely suggest doing like Brooklyn Bridge one way and then Manhattan Bridge the other way. You can't take pictures because it has the fence up, but you can like pop your head underneath and have a look and just enjoy the view. I mean, it's stunning, particularly at like dusk or as the bridge starts to light up, you actually get to see the Brooklyn Bridge from here, which is so magical. This is like just insane, isn't it? The view is stunning. Oh, it's cool. It's like a hidden thing for more pizza, but look how long the line is. So we're gonna go elsewhere. Okay, so Emily was telling me about a really sceny place, as in like it's hyped, called Scars for Pizza in New York. Never heard of it. We just got off the Manhattan Bridge and it was like quite close to that. However, the line, I mean, you can kind of sit behind me. It was so long and Emily's opinion, and Emily like knows New York very well. She was like, well, she knows New York pizza very well, that's for sure. She was like, actually like just hyped, not the best pizza, right? Yeah, right. So she was like, there are better places with less of a line. So we're gonna go grab another slice at a better place with less of a line. Oh my goodness, I love rice to riches. So I'm such a weirdo and I'm obsessed with rice pudding. No one else is, but I am. Well, clearly people are, because there's people in there. Guys, it's a rice pudding shop. Let me take you, let me show you. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Okay, we're still on the hump of pizza. I'm so sorry, but we walked past Rice to Riches and it's one of my favorite dessert spots in New York. So Emily had the great idea to get it and we'll eat it in bed later. It was so fun. I can't wait to eat that later. Okay, now back to the pizza hype. Here we are. Yummy. Oh, this is a really nice one. <gasps> they also have the like really crispy ones. I love the really crispy ones. I mean, I prefer the thick ones. Garlic not thing. Right. Wow. Yum. Look Here we go. Next slice. This is better than front tree. Much better. Mm. <laughs> better crust, better sauce, better raw. Mm. If you want a full pizza, this is my favorite pizza spot in New York. We'll go again and again. Ruby Rosa, get the vodka pizza, it's insane. Just like that, we're heading out for dinner. We're heading to Gemma restaurant tonight, which is hilarious because all week, we've just been like saying the name Gemma. I actually thought it was called Emma. And then we were like, why don't we actually go to Gemma? It's been on my list for ages and Emily said this hotel is great for drinks. So we're gonna go find her husband. Because <laughs> that's what she wants. So let's go. Good morning, I look so tired today. Last night was amazing, so Emily and I got into the restaurant, Gemma at the Bowery, and we were like, oh, the table was just a bit weird. It's very dark, so we were like, let's just sit by the bar, we want a good vibe. We ended up sitting next to this guy, making friends with him, he was just amazing. We just had the best night, and I think, keep your heart open to meeting people because it was just great. We're now heading to the Waverly Inn for brunch. The menu looks amazing. We did just eat a lot of rice pudding after our Equinox class. But yeah, let's eat.
Okay, next stop on the bagel crawl. Even though we just had lunch, Brooklyn Bagel Coffee Company. I'm actually getting some to take home. I love this muse. It's really London vibes. I actually always thought this was like a private university muse. I didn't know that people actually lived on here. I always thought it was like locked. Okay, Waverly Inn. So, I have wanted to go to Waverly Inn in New York for series of years. I saved it to Instagram so many years ago. I feel like Rosie Londoner went there and I was like, I need to go there. And again, just like last night, in a strange twist of fate, we had the reservation booked for last night, changed it to Gemma, changed our tables at Gemma, ended up meeting the most phenomenal, inspiring human, making friends. And then today, we had the best mac and cheese, lobster mac and cheese. They do have a truffle mac and cheese, but it was $146. <laughs> it was a no from me. And then we just made friends with these people sat next to us. I feel like Emily and I have been very open to just like meeting people. I very much realized that I'm not closed off to making new friends. And I don't know, we just keep meeting great people, don't we? So I got some bagels from Leon's Bagels this morning to take home. And we just went to the Brooklyn Bagel Company. We're too full. We can't handle another bagel right now, but they were really nice. I bought some bagels to take home and they gave me some zip locked bags. So that's a top tip for you. If you want to take some bagels home from New York, because I need to take them home for my boyfriend, go to Brooklyn Bagel Company and ask for zip lock bags. And then you can take them in your hand luggage on the flight. And then they're going to be fine for when I land in London tomorrow. <laughs> I love that the, tr that the Christmas trees still have lights on. It's almost February, but like, I'm not mad about it. It's beautiful. Time to get some cookies for after our lunch. Is that all they have left? The goods. Cold brew. That sounds amazing. Cute. Yes, and we're also gonna get this to go with our cookies. Emily was like, I don't trust Chip for coffee, so we came next door to Black Street instead. This spot is a really great brunch, and we had great chocolate mousse here the other night. Our friend last night recommended this. He said it's really, really good, so it's on the list for next time, and this is actually the friend's apartment building. It's kind of walking through like, I guess you would say Tribeca. Right next to Tribeca, kind of. Almost, almost, with our drinks. And I was just saying to Emily, I walked across here with my mum a few years ago and we met a golden doodle and the golden doodle was so cute and the owner was like, the golden doodle is so kind and hypoallergenic and that is where we got the inspo to get our gorgeous golden doodle maple from. Cheers to that. I love rivers. There's something very calming about walking by the water. So we're just walking by the river. It's my last day in New York today. I've had such a great week here. I just love it so, so, so much. And it's kind of cold today, but like still warmer than England. Like I say, usually it's so cold in January, but I did, did put my ear muffs on just because we're by the water. But we were like, let's get some water because it just feels so calming walking by the water. My American friends always laugh at me. They're like, why do Brits love walking across rivers so much? But I don't know, I find the water very calming. Comment below. Do you like walking by the water or is that a very British thing? Thank you. I have to get one more bagel before I leave. This is the chosen spot, let's go. I had to get a chocolate ball. These things look amazing. Thank you. Doughy undercooked chip cookies, you approve? I approve. Levan and chip are the best. Ooh. The LTD to end the trip. <laughs> it's the bitter end of the trip. <laughs> Guys, it's the bitter end. I was just saying to Emily, it's pathetic fallacy. And she's like, what's that? In English literature, pathetic fallacy is like, the weather determines the mood. So like, in a movie, someone's about to die and then there's a thunderstorm. Or like, it's sunny and they're about to get married. And it's like, yeah, 
So, that is the end. I can't believe it of my New York trip. I got a bagel to eat on my way out. Obviously, I went for a BLT everything bagel. Can't wait. We're very full from Waverly and it was sensational going at the brunch there. Like, we got the best table. We just had the best time. So happy to reunited with this one. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy we had this to look back on selfishly. So, there's lots of New York vlogs on my channel. Come shopping with me, solo day, two New York vlogs. I hope you enjoyed it. On my Instagram, I had two, oh, a raindrop just fell in my eye. But that's it, fallacy. The sky's crying because I'm leaving. Yeah, I had my Instagram, check out NYC2, the highlighter. If you watched it this far, my number ones, love you lots for taking the energy and effort and time to watch it. Grateful for you. Leave a comment and write bagel. And if you want to go wild, tell me what your favorite bagel is. Or maybe you don't even like bagels. But thank you for being here with me. On to the next adventure. Oh my love.